Hey YouTube, uh, it's me, Kevin Wicks. I run primalpowertraining.com. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, today I wasn't feeling too great, so I called off my usual Sunday uh, training. Uh, we call it a Strongman Sundays over with uh, Steve Bellinger at uh, his uh, awesome gym. Uh, you've seen it on YouTube. Place is fantastic and he's an awesome guy. Uh, started feeling better, kind of wanted to capitalize on it and uh, get some information out. I get lots of email about the 80 pound club bell, um, how I work with it. Um, thank you for uh, all your positive feedback. Uh, it was a journey to get there. Uh, it's a beastly tool, so uh, thank Torque, by the way, for making it and uh, hopefully uh, they'll make me a 100 pound club bell one day. Uh, that's kind of my goal. So, in questions about how did I get to the point where I could swing an 80 pound club bell when most, for right now, uh, a lot of people are still working with the bruiser or the 45 pound and it seems like such an impossible task. Well, uh, it's not impossible. Um, it takes time and effort and work like anything else will take. Um, I think the difference is uh, I believed I can uh, do the 80 pound club bell. Um, some people see the 45 pound club bell as sort of the, the, uh, the limit in strength. Um, I don't. I see beyond that. I see beyond the 80 pound. I see beyond the 100 pounds. Um, <laughs> it makes a big noise. Um, and I see, you know, I see going past that. Um, I don't believe in limitation. But getting there uh, with getting to the 80 pound, you got to do the 45 pound club. Um, it's, it's the only way. So about a year ago, I put together a process that I really didn't think I'd be ever sharing with anyone, but so much interest has popped up that I'm probably going to release something. Uh, but I want to get um, information out there and I want to get people ready for what I'm about to uh, release regarding my own personal training. This is no one else's. Uh, this is something that I sat down and said, you know what, I'm looking at the biomechanics of using the 80 pound club bell. I know my limitations currently and this is what I gotta do uh, to develop the full body strength and the grip strength to weld that. Um, and I sat down, I created a year's plus worth of material for me and me alone, uh, using pretty much my own ideas, watching, of course, other people. Um, there are some guys that were very, very instrumental in me putting together my information. Um, and, uh, you know, I, 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 I say thank you to them, um, and I hope they continue to put out their information. Um, so I'm going to put out mine too. Uh, what I've done is I've created, uh, abbreviated programs and an abbreviated program is pretty much just that it is one or two exercises done heavy, done hard, done for high reps, and then you're done. You don't touch your, you don't touch other things. If you're going to work on the club bell, you know, work on the club bell. I, you know, that sounds funny because I still swing a mace bell. I do a lot with kettlebells, but you know, I'm very priority about what I'm doing. And uh, when it came time for me to go, okay, I'm going to work on the club bell. That's all I worked on. And uh, I've gotten some pretty good results. Uh, I, I put together a, a one handed um, swipe and pass uh, power cycle. So that's a beginning and this one will feed right into it. Um, the importance of leg linked to hand strength, I think it's something that's about to become really well known. It's something that me and my friends and, and uh, other guys that I've worked with have really talked about and discussed. Um, and uh, that's something that's probably going to start uh, coming out. A lot of people will probably put a lot of DVDs out about that connection. Uh, they're right. Uh, squats release testosterone and when you squat the rest of your body becomes all that much stronger so leg work leg work leg work is so important um, and then functionality in terms of strength you can't get around the grip so things like the club bell because it's it's compact and it's, it's, it's weighted 
You can do leg and grip work uh, with the mace belt. I love it. I love the mace belt. I'll never stop swinging the mace belt. Um, but in a lot of ways, the one thing it doesn't do is give you the ability to really work the legs. Although you can, and I do, I do a lot of squats with the mace bell. Um, it just doesn't flow as well as the club. Mace bell hands down for, for grip, wrist, arm, elbow, shoulder strength. You can't beat it. it it's a monster tool. But the club should be used in conjunction with the mace bell, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm going to show you today is another part of a power cycle that I do. It's going to be about four to five minutes, depending on how I feel. <laughs> um, and it's pretty simple, but it's, it's going to tax you. Um, so let me crank it out. I, I, I got to go do some music or I kind of... I, I will go until um, I simply can't and then tomorrow's just going to be hell. So it looks like this. That's really loud too. Let me go ahead and fix that. So uh, it's going to be a swing into a shoulder park into a squat. And it's going to be switching sides, just like that. You've got your grip strength, and you've got two types of leg strength, explosive and a grind. So you're really hitting a lot of aspects with leg strength. Also, because you're weighting one side of the body, your core comes into play to balance it out. And then you grip because of the traction pulling away from it. You've got to get a really solid grip on this tool. Keep it in your hands. Shoot for about, ooh, about five minutes, as many as you can do. If you gotta rest, then rest. Yeah, for right now I'm done, but next time I'll get me uh, doing that for about five minutes straight. I'm not feeling good today, like I said, but try that out. Um, it's a full body blaster, full body strength and conditioning. Uh, your whole body will go through it and you will feel it. Trust me, you'll feel it. So that's uh, power cycle number two. Swing, shoulder park, squat, and sort of a swipe. Alternating to the other side. Feel free to alternate your hands throughout the exercise. Um, ideally, you'll do even sides uh, if you can, if not, won't make a big deal. So, thank you to Torque. Check out PrimalPowerTraining.com uh, and uh, get swinging some clubs and maces.